So we're starting a new week off and I'm out back and it's a beautiful day, but uh, we're out here because I have these flags up. If you all follow me, you know. I've had these flags. Um, I absolutely love them. Um, I have a Cornwall and Pyron and the Union Jack and Australia and I'm getting ready to move them. I'm going to move them because Sandra and Adam sent me more flags that are here on the table and what I don't like the way they look from like we put them up here we put them way up here and so you can see them from the other side and I don't like the way they look there so what I want to do is to put them on each section here of the fence like down below like start at the what do you call that crisscross like a basket weave whatever and put them below and Kevin said well you won't be able to see them unless you're outside though but I will be able to see them because the kitchen windows right here the kitchen windows here and so what I plan on doing is I'm gonna put the Union Jack right here so when I come in the kitchen I will see the Union Jack first thing but I'm gonna start down here and put a flag and then we'll go we'll have three four or five we have six big ones so one two three four five six that's gonna be almost the entire I mean not the entire back wall but I mean it'll be a lot um, so that's exciting and um, Andrew had a couple flags and we asked him Kevin what did Andrew say about his flags that he had oh he said he would look for them I'll have to ask him again I don't know if he would want to donate his flags to me or not but he has two I think he has three he has one that's um, uh, Marine Corps which I'd love to have that I don't know if he'll I, I don't know if he'll give me that one and then he has one that we bought him at Disney and it's a Pirates of the Caribbean and then I think he has a POW one but um, it uh, it'll be better honestly it'll be better to have them there than up here and I mean we might get something at some point to put up here but I, I think yeah, I think it'll look really cool I think the backyard will look really really cool and you won't be able to see them from the street like you can now um, but it will also add some privacy because like right now you can see through you can see through the fence um, and these these will add another layer of privacy to it out here so I think it'll look nice so Kevin is carefully taking down Australia right now he's doing it very very carefully and um, um, I think we're just gonna spend uh, the day here at home last weekend we ran around a lot we um, we hadn't run around in Lexington in a while and so last weekend we went and um, if you watch the vlog you'll have seen all this but we went all the way across town and we went to Trader Joe's and we ate at some new places and I'm so glad that you all enjoyed that video um, that uh, of us going out to eat at Shake Shack and uh, Krispy Kreme we did that on the same day but I made two separate videos but that was a lot of fun but the reason we don't do it very often is because I'm cheap and you know that was probably if you looked at the receipts that was probably oh well Krispy Kreme wasn't expensive Krispy Kreme was only like $3.50 so that was cheap but Shake Shack was like $22 well if I can save think if I save $22 a week uh, you know what that is in a year so that's why I don't eat out very often so anyway I'm gonna get help him with these flags and then I'll check in and we'll show you how it looks and Scotland and Ireland and Australia and United Kingdom and Wales and Cornwall I like them a lot better down here what do you think mm -hmm. you don't care do you <laughs> 
you're hot. <laughs> I don't blame you. So Ashley brought home this game of the states game and it's been really really cool we've, we've played it for the first time tonight and it's neat because you get these cards I'll pick one up for an example and okay like this is Hawaii so it tells you there's a fact at the bottom Hawaii is the only state made up entirely of islands uh, the biggest one is Big Island. Um, anyway, it tells you that the hibiscus is the flower, pineapples is its main product, and sugar. I just think it's 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 a really really fun game. But uh, it's you're buying and selling things that are from that state, and it's just a really really neat game. How much did you pay for it, Ashley? You don't know. Well, did you all enjoy it? Mm -hmm. So now we're counting up our money to see who won because we don't know yet. So, uh, I'll let you know in a minute who won. Okay. Do you have your number? No. Go ahead. Okay. I got $970. Oh, I don't know. Um, five. I got six, 810 seven, 810 790 seven, So, I won. Yeah. Good job, Mommy. Yay. Okay. So, I'm on the window seat in our kitchen. This is, like, my favorite place to just sit and play my phone or read or whatever. So if this is like a weird spot to be filming or if you all like it, let me know. I just didn't want to set up like the stuff in the living room to film like just a quick little clip. Uh, I, first thing, I got a perm, if you couldn't tell. Uh, we briefly mentioned it in a vlog at some point. Um, it's still a little bit wet, but this is what it has turned out like. Um, I, if you want like a full story and experience on the perm, comment below and let me know. I know not everybody cares. Um, so if you do want that, just comment below and I'll do it. I finally figured out like what to do with it. Um, the first few days were a little rough. Um, it was a little bit of puffiness. The reason you all have not seen me in a lot of vlogs lately is because I am working like a crazy person. Um, it is Sunday, August the something, the 20th. And I have so... I've worked, I have two jobs right now. Um, I work at a different physical therapy clinic than the one I used to work at if you've been watching for a long time. And then I also work at a store. Um, I'm not gonna tell you which store it is because like it's a really small chain and where like I'm in the Lexington area, you would know which one it was and no offense, but like I think that might be a little bit weird. So I work at a store on the weekends. School starts at UK on Wednesday the 23rd and I'm legitimately sick about it because <laughs> this is gonna be like the weirdest reason to be anxious about going back to school. I'm not nervous about my classes or anything. I am so worried about driving to school because before I had, I parked in K-Lot, which was the football stadium, which was far away from everything and like there weren't a whole lot of pedestrians and I just parked and I would get on the shuttle and go to class. This semester, the only parking pass that was available to me was a commuter pass. So I'm parking like in the heart of downtown and I hate it. Hate it so much. I'm not excited. Dad had to actually show me like this is how you get here. Because I don't know how to get anywhere driving. I can just walk to these places, you know? Like, oh my gosh, I'm so anxious about it. Because what if I run somebody over? That'll be me that like hit somebody in a crosswalk the first day of school. That like, if you hear about it on the news, it's, <laughs> it was me. Um, so I'm just really anxious about that. And because I'm not, I don't really like driving in general, like downtown. I like back road country driving where there's no one and I can go as fast as I want pretty much and just listen to music. I don't like city driving. <laughs> so I don't know, I'm not excited. We'll see how it goes. I'll probably be fine after the first few days. I'm just really nervous about it right now. I am in my second semester of junior year this year. And I actually got a research fellowship. If you follow me on Instagram, then you'll probably have seen it a few months ago where I applied and I got it. Four students at the University of Kentucky were given a research fellowship position um, for the education program in STEM, which is science, technology, engineering, and math. There's one professor for each of those areas and I got paired, so four people, so the four students got paired with the four professors. So I got paired with the science lady, um, whose name escapes me. Um, <laughs> it's terrible. Um, but that is actually a paid position. I mean, I don't get paid a lot, but it's more than I would normally get if I wasn't doing it. And um, I also will get a really good experience to have for um, a resume or 
um, things like that. So when I get a job, I think it'll look good and it'll help me with my future career path um, like after I teach for a few years. So that will be good. So my schedule is gonna be legitimately insane. Like, uh, <laughs> crazy. So Monday I go to school in the morning and then I work. And then Tuesday I go to school all day long from like 9.30 to 7. It's a long day. Wednesday I go to school and then I work. Thursday I go to school all day. Friday I go to school and then work in the afternoon. Saturday and Sunday I work and then it starts all over. <laughs> it's like I don't get a single day off right now um, because I'm working three jobs. Um, or I will be once school starts on Wednesday. So I just, I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to quit my weekend job at the store, but then like the money's good and it's an easy job. So, but it, it, at the same hand, like I'm gonna have to have like time to do my homework and stuff like that. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm just thinking through my options and things like that. his tongue out which is really really bizarre because I've never seen him with his tongue out like this so today is Monday it is eclipse day and Kevin I have no idea what he's doing right now I have no idea. He just went in and got a towel and put it over his head. That is hysterical. Hysterical. He has no idea that I'm looking at him. He's sitting, he's sitting here. <laughs> he's sitting here with a towel over his head. He's co <laughs> he covered up because it's bright. He covered up the camera. I'll show you what he's what he's got going on here. I was going to show you what you've got going on here over the camera. So we took a pair of eclipse glasses and we covered up the lens of the camera because if you don't, it'll burn it out, right? And so Kevin made this little <laughs> cylinder <laughs> tube. And why did you have to make it like that? Well, because it doesn't cover the whole lens. So you got these big bars at the top and the bottom that would uh, shine light in there. Right, and we have our extension on our camera. And I just want to see how that recorded. It's oh, really good. so why do you have the towel over you because the you sun? You can't see the screen. Oh, because it's so yeah. bright. And I'm going to get a different towel because that one stinks. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. the one we used to wipe Wipe those feet off. <laughs> Observing the sun for the eclipse. What is it about a, a third of the way? Covered? It's about a third of the way. This is the coolest thing ever. We are recording it. I can't see you. <laughs> it's literally black through these glasses. And I've got I, my telephoto lens on this camera, so it's, it's I'm having to stand really far away. But. We switched cameras. I was filming just a second ago. I was vlogging on that camera. Kevin was filming the sun on the one he's using now. We've switched it because this one actually, we think it focuses better where that one was, this one was blurry that he's using now. We're hoping this one focuses better, but I didn't know when you hold these glasses up, everything looks literally black. Like if you're looking straight ahead, everything is black. You can't see, you can't see one thing until you look up at the sun and then the magic happens and it's just amazing. It's crazy. So uh, I texted Aner and Christina and Ashley because they're all in different places asking them if they've gone out and used their glasses yet. Hold on. We'll see what they say. This is Christina. She said, yes, I think I've got video too, but I'm not sure. So hopefully Christina will be uh, vlogging it and putting it up on her channel. Yeah, she's probably trying to hold the lens, the camera, the lens is up in front of the camera. Right. Which is a lot more challenging. I made a, like a little holder. Right, right. So I'm sure, uh, hopefully, well, I, I'm sure, I, I'm hoping she will put something on her channel too if she gets anything. So that's what we're doing right now. We're trying to film it just the best that we can for you.
So this is about how dark it got outside. But I'm going to take you inside in just a second because that's what you really need to see. Um, it's, it's, so it's pretty light out here, but it's a funny color. It's the color like, like it just, we just had a hard rain and it stopped. That's the color it is. Kind of a rosy looking uh, hint, hue to it. So I'll take you in in just a second. So now you walk back into the house and you can see how dark it is. It's like... It's like as if uh, either it's nighttime or that it's like getting ready to rain or something like that. That's how dark it is. Well, today Kevin and I have another box from Door County Coffee and Tea Company and I cannot imagine. I just finished. We, we literally went down to the post office and mailed off. Uh, the last three winners of their coffee because you know we did a giveaway I, we did a video review and then in that video review I did a giveaway and so we just mailed off the five the winners and then we went to the P.O. box and there was a box in there from them so I don't know what this is gonna be it's all fall oh okay well now I have tried because the packages have leaves all over Okay, I have tried a lot of their fall you may have tried some of them. flavors, yeah. but it, I have tried so many that it's very hard for me to remember which ones I've tried and which ones I haven't. This is ground caramel apple. Now, see, I'm going to have to check and see if I, I don't remember if I've tried this or not. I'm just going to have to give you stuff because it's all mixed up. That's fine. Okay, we have a white chocolate cinnamon dolce. Okay, I got two big bags. I don't right. remember I got that. Big bag. White chocolate cinnamon dolce. I, I honestly don't remember caramel apple. What was so, that? Caramel apple. Yeah, caramel apple. So we have a big uh, white chocolate cinnamon dolce and a small one, and then I have a big oh pumpkin spice. Oh, okay. An autumn spice. I saw it. You can't. I was trying to hide. Pumpkin spice and autumn spice. I okay, love autumn spice. Smaller autumn spice. Okay, and so I'm assuming there's going to be a small, small pumpkin, pumpkin spice. spice, and there should be a small caramel apple. You know they're going to gonna give me a small car cranberry orange well, muffin. Now out. it seems like I tried a cranberry orange. Maybe not, uh, but it just that cranberry. The name of the cranberry sounds familiar to me. I saw another small bag in there. So I know there's another. Oh, there's, there's a few more. Door County Maple. I'm almost positive I've tried Door County Maple. This is a lot of coffee. Uh, a lot of coffee from Door County. Wisconsin Harvest Blend. A medium roast coffee celebrating the fall season with hints of roasted chestnuts and toasted pralines. That sounds so good. Okay. And then these I can't remember. Cranberry, right yeah, cranberry orange muffin and white chocolate cinnamon dolce. That is right here. So they sent it me two of those. And the only thing, it's the curry oh. cups. Curry. You know, and here's the alarm. Someone said to me, um, someone said to me, I did not know before you did your review video i did not know they sold these yeah, we don't have a machine so no we don't so um uh i will do a giveaway on these you'll, yeah you'll have to yeah <laughs> but well, you'll I have mean, to because we don't have a machine yeah i don't have a machine but this is the pumpkin spice and i have I'm pumpkin spice wondered, anyway i've always wondered if it would be it would be worth buying a coffee machine because you can put loose coffee in those little baskets they make, mm -hmm. the adapters. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm wonder. just as fine with what I, know. I have, though. Well, and they I mean, only make one cup at a time, whereas right. this makes I can make a whole cups. pot. Yeah, and I haven't had, I have a KitchenAid uh, coffee maker, and I haven't had, had it that many years. Uh, Kevin bought that for me, and he bought me a KitchenAid toaster, <laughs> and I like both of them. Now, the only thing I have to say about the KitchenAid coffee pot is the clock never has worked on no, it. No, it's it always has, slow. It has never worked on it. So, but you know what? With Fitbits and your phones and all that, who needs a clock, really? I mean, I, I'm not going to use that for my clock. I guess if you were to set it, if there's a way to set it to come on at a certain time in the morning. That's why you have it. Yeah. yeah then, you can sit then, down. then you, 
you wouldn't be very happy with it. You wouldn't because um, it'd always be off. At least ours is. I don't know. So you got a letter. I got a letter. Let's see. I, and this is just... Um, they usually send me a card. Aaron sends me a card. Whoop. Oh, 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 and everything. Tammy, thanks for the review of our Frosting on the Cake copy and doing the giveaway too. We are always more than happy to do giveaways and send the prizes to the winners uh, for you if you would like. Oh, now we know. Now, <laughs> now this package is all about fall. It includes all of our flavors plus two new ones. Wisconsin Harvest Blend and White Chocolate Cinnamon Dolce. Um, I'm going to make sure... Um, even though those are your two new ones, I'm going to still make sure that I've tried all the other ones too. Because uh, I know I have tried a lot. I don't know how that would work if I did a you giveaway. Go for it. You contact her. I've, I've never done that before, but. It would save us money on It would save us a lot of money. Yeah, the, we mailed, uh, the, yeah, we mailed one to England today and it was like 13, $13. Thir over $13 mm -hmm. uh, because we don't mind sending it wherever. And so somebody in England um, will, uh, he won uh, the, the second two. prize. He uh, won the two bags of coffee. So, um, but that was cool. I don't mind. Minded it all. Anytime I do giveaways, unless I say otherwise, they're open to everybody. Mm -hmm. So there will be a giveaway when I do the uh, review of the uh, of the white chocolate cinnamon dolce, and I'll probably pair it with something else. Um, we'll see how many I have. But when you see the white chocolate cinnamon dolce uh, video from Door County Coffee, that is when I will do the giveaway and you'll know exactly what I'm giving away. You always put giveaway in the title. Too. Yeah, I put giveaway in the title. The, at least this is going to be in there. I mean, there will be other things, but this, this will be in there. If you have one of these um, Keurig. Keurig machines, uh, this is the pumpkin spice and there are 12 cups in here. So that, that's a nice prize right there, mm -hmm. uh, that alone. So anyway, uh, thank you so much to Aaron at Door County. I really appreciate the, the opportunity to try the new coffee. Um, but I also think it's cool that I get to share it with other people. And you all have told me that you have started ordering from Door County because you've heard what I have to say. Uh, so that's nice that, that you trust my opinion. So uh, thank you again, and we'll see you in a little bit. So we are on our way to the library. Actually, we're almost here. It's 75 degrees. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. So we're leaving the library now and we have a bag full of books. I always get more than I intend to get, always. And then I think Kevin kind of um, gets excited too, whether he likes to admit it or not. And because he'll, he'll find a certain series and he'll be like, oh, they have a Halloween book or they have a Christmas book or, or Valentine's because he knows that I like to read the seasonal books. So I think he gets excited about them too. Like the he likes the challenge, yeah. Uh, so anyway, now I know though, if I want a lot to read a lot of seasonal books that I haven't read before, I know now where to look for them. So anyway, we're gonna head home. I think it's gotten hotter out here. Yeah, what do you think? Hotter. Yeah, it's gotten much, much hotter. So, uh, but it's anyway. 90. 90? Yeah. Oh my yeah, goodness. Wow, that's crazy. Well, it is a gorgeous day. So um, hopefully wherever you all are at today, you're enjoying yourself doing something fun and uh, swimming in the pool or whatever. So the people across the street are getting, it looks like spray foam insulation. And I always wondered how they would do it because it's like up in the attic. So they have, I guess coming from this truck, they have this uh, hose that's going all the way up into their attic. And uh, they've been, uh, I guess, doing that. All, they, they've been here all day, haven't they? So I guess it's an all day job, but that will help them with their, uh, heating bills this winter for sure okay kevin is leaving for work it is wednesday morning and yes i am being a stalker uh because we have thought about this spray foam but i think it would be too expensive you can see it up here in the corner of their attic but i bet the company's going to be coming back because um you can tell that they didn't get it all and they only got it up in that one corner, right up there in that corner. 
So I'm sure they'll be coming back uh, to finish the job today. It was pouring when they left last night though. So I have a story to tell you about Ashley and Ashley's car. Ashley's car was a Mercury and she's had trouble with the air conditioner ever since she got the car. It's it, nothing else has been wrong with it, just the air conditioner. And so everything else has been fine. And uh, so she just, she's tired of having to pay for to get the air conditioning fixed only to have it break again. And she works very, very hard so she doesn't have the money to just be throwing it away on the air conditioner. So she decided to get a new car. So she came over and got a new car last night and she was thrilled to death with it and I can't even remember what kind it was. It was the kind that she had had in the past and someone ran into her, it wasn't her fault. So she got that car and so today she woke up and she came to school, came to uh, University of Kentucky for the first day of on-campus classes and she got back to Winchester to our town because she had to go to work and a sensor came on inside the car. So she called them and told them the sensor's on in the car and she said, you know what, I just want to bring it back because she's thinking, she's thinking that the law is you have three days to return a car. And we thought that too, that you had three days after you signed the contract. So she told him, she said, I just want to return it. She said, this is the day after there's already a sensor coming on. I, I want to return it. So the guy from the car dealership calls her back. She's on the phone with the guy telling him, I want to bring the car back. And he's telling her, you can't bring the car back. You've already signed the papers. It's a done deal. The car dies on her in the middle of our bypass. Cars behind her, cars everywhere. It's in the middle of like rush hour in Winchester, which is, you know, just a lot of people. Um, the car dies on her completely. And so she yells at the guy from the dealership and she hangs up on him because she started crying. So she hung up on him because I've done the same thing before. Uh, years ago, I've had vehicles dial me in the middle of the road. And it just you feel completely vulnerable you feel stupid even though it's not your fault you feel like the world is going to end and so you just cry it's just uh just what we do so she she kind of, she um long story short uh my dad kevin was in a meeting andrew works in another town uh my dad was in town my dad was able thank the lord to pick her up and um, bring her to, they got the car towed, and now they are giving her a, a loaner car because they have to work on her car. Um, they have to work on her car, and today is Thursday, so it may be ready tomorrow or Saturday, but chances are it won't be until Monday because they have two mechanics out. And so, uh, yeah, it will probably be Monday before she gets that car back. What kind of a car is it that she bought? GMC Terrain. A GMC Terrain, that's what she bought. So anyway, we've had to drive all the way to the other side of Lexington during rush hour, which is 40, 45 minutes away, and for her to pick up this loaner car, and she's in it right now. It looks like a really nice car. It's an Acura. So, I just wanted to tell you the story of her car because uh, it's just been, it's been an ordeal. Um, and so anyway, and know that the three day thing isn't anymore. If you, if you, you better make sure that the car is good before you drive it off the lot. Oh, and I never said what was wrong with it. It was a, you can take off. It we was a, sen sure. we don't know for sure. It was a sensor that was going off. And so the uh, we're thinking uh, that it was a timing sensor. Why were we thinking that? That's what the machine said. They oh, up. they put it on the computer, hooked it up to a computer. And so it's supposed to be uh, some kind of a, a sensor, a timing sensor. So hopefully it won't be that big of a deal to fix. 
but it's just been it's been a big ordeal so well, it's in a different town you have to drive all the yeah way. we're having to drive all the way to the other side of town uh which we're over here so we may stop at target before we go home so this is the rental car that Ashley has, which is nice. We we are a loaner. It's not a rental. It's a loaner. They've corrected me several times. It's a loaner car. Uh, so they filled it up with gas, and we're getting ready to pass her. There she is. We have three different things here, but I'm only going to open two of them. Uh, this is a munch pack. And Kevin said I should wait to open the munch pack when we, actually, we actually do the review. I am hoping uh, that maybe maybe we'll be able to get Andrew in on this. I know you all love to see Andrew, so if I can get Andrew, a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, usually. yeah. Usually there's like ten or fifteen things in these munch packs, and this one feels heavy. So if we can get Andrew in on this, we will. I'm not going to open it right now and look to see what's inside. Uh, but so just know that that video will be coming up look and forward. that yeah look forward to it and we'll be trying everything at one time that comes in the munch pack I won't divide it out or anything like that and then are we gonna open this, this one you weren't prepared no I'm gonna do this one Kevin wasn't but you get yeah, it no, but you could have already opened it you could have been ready Morgan and Chris sent us a box another box from Canada they had just sent us a box not too long ago, so I can't believe you all did this again. Um, they sent us uh, some delicious cereal. Um, oh my gosh, yay, more cereal. Birthday cake. Birthday cake flavor Fruit Loops. <laughs> Thank you so much. Canada's 150th birthday prepared in Canada. I can't wait to taste this and see if it tastes as sweet. Uh, is what we have here. Um, yeah, Morgan said that she had been looking for this when she sent the last box and she didn't find it. And so I guess you found it. So I'm so glad. I can't wait to taste that. This is a cool card. This is a cool card. Dear Dunn family, here is another box of goodies and fun from us to you. We hope you en Okay. <laughs> he does that. Uh, original toffee. Walker's. Mm -hmm. England's finest. Yeah, yeah, Walker's toffee. It looks good. Okay. I did not see this the entire time that we were in England. I want you If we did, we passed right over. Yeah. I, I did not notice this. This is... Look at this packaging. Because I know a lot of you all are watching in the United Kingdom. I don't recall seeing that packaging at all. This whole box is, is just for me. For you? Yeah. Okay. The treat shop. Soda popcorn root beer. Root beer. And, uh, and cream, cream soda. soda. How cool. We're, these are made in... Da, 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 da. I don't know. Mississauga? Where is Mississauga? Is that in Canada? I, I'm sure that's in Canada. Probably. And I'm probably saying it completely wrong. Mississauga is how I would say that. That's probably it. It's a I, French word. So, root beer and cream soda. Those are fun. Okay, now these are mine. You said those were yours. Oh. Banana box. And that's a teeny tiny little box. Oh. Oh my no. goodness. This one's a zebra, and that's a dinosaur. Oh my goodness. We're gonna Look have... how tiny those are. Oh my goodness. And these were not cheap. No. Eleven dollars a piece. This a, is that 105 pieces? Look at this. This is a uh, dinosaur. Uh, Brachiosaurus, Brachiosaurus skeleton model. And look how little, I'm holding the envelope up so it'll block behind me because it doesn't like to focus. Okay, look at those itty bitty pieces. Now look at this one. This is a zebra. Little teeny tiny pieces. Uh, that will be fun. And one more. I can't wait for you to do these. Teeny tiny pieces. For me. You're going to have to be extremely careful that you don't like Drop. them. Yeah, because you would never ever find this on the floor. What else? Oh my gosh! That's neat, isn't it? I have. Oh my goodness! That's cool. 
Merry Christmas to Kevin. <laughs> it's gold. Look at that. Doctor Who. It's a Dalek. That is so awesome. Now you can read the card just in case. Oh my goodness. Mm, that's neat. The Daleks are one of the most feared races in the universe. Their creator, Davros, only has one intention, destroying all life apart from Dalek life. The Doctor has stopped them on several occasions, but somehow they just keep coming back. That's so <laughs> cool. Uh, here's another box of goodies and fun from us to you. We hope you enjoy the cereal puzzles, etc. Look forward to a fall box soon. Oh, good grief. <laughs> um, this card is from Maine, where we are sending this from. Oh, Hope you all have a great rest of your summer and are looking forward to pumpkin spice season, aka fall item, Morgan and Chris. So yes, I like the, I like we, the card. The, yeah, <laughs> let's look at the card. We are very, very much looking, looking forward to uh, the pumpkin spice season. Yeah, that's thank everything you. Maine. That's for Thank cool. you so much. And thank you for, for the, the nanos and the yeah, Dr. Yeah, that is absolutely cool. awesome. Yeah, but, so the next thing you do will have to be one of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll have to one. Yeah, and, and I'll probably show it uh, during... 14 pieces. I'll probably show it during oh a God. vlog. Um, him, him opening this up and, and showing the little pieces. Because I don't think I would be able to film that correctly. I don't think oh. I could get, unless I sat right there, I don't know that I could fill those. I mean, they're almost so little you would have to get tweezers. I'm sorry, 180 pieces and 140 pieces. Oh, so that's number, like number yeah. 114. But here, 140 pieces. Yeah, that's 140, 140 pieces. pieces, not 114, 140 in there. That's crazy. Thank you so much. We will try the Fruit Loops by themselves. Mm, they, they look good. Uh, but then when we do the popcorn video, we'll also do the toffee in that. So thank you. We really appreciate it. And we have one more thing to open for you. I have no idea what this is. Did you say it was from Lexington? It should be like that. Oh. You'll have to read through that to see if what it is. Or who sent it to you or whatever. She chose extra. Who sent this? Oh, Molly. Molly sent these from California. Oh my goodness. I'm assuming she ordered them from Amazon. What's funny well, is. Well, then you paid a fortune if you did. Yeah. What's funny is Amazon shipped them. From Lexington. from Lexington, where we cannot find them in Lexington. No, Lexington. We have been, we've been in gas stations. We haven't just looked in stores. We've no, been uh, in gas stations, uh, Target, Walmart. Uh, we even looked in Kmart when we went in there. Kroger. We looked everywhere. Did it pop? Oh no! But it was in a, it was sealed in a bag. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, it did. It but it was sealed it. inside another bag, so it's, it's fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Thank you so much, Molly. That was so very. I very just think nice it's interesting. That it came from Lexington. I think that's too. the place we've been looking. And Bobby told me about these. Bobby's my guy that works at Frito Lay. He he lives somewhere in Kentucky. I don't know where he lives in Kentucky, but somewhere in Kentucky, far from here, I think. And. He has had them in his area for a long time. They, we've just, never we've had never them. had them here, here or Lexington. So thank you. We can finally, we've mm -hmm. had a bag of Cheetos up in the cabinet waiting the to be reviewed them. with these. And we haven't reviewed them because I wanted to do them together. So I really appreciate that, Molly. And thank you again to uh, Morgan and Chris. You saw earlier in the video where we were putting the flags out back and as you can see I can see them out my back window which is what I wanted. Andrew had two flags. I wasn't sure how many he had. Uh, this one he gave me this one and this is like the Scottish Royal Banner I believe is what it's called. So we will be hanging that up out back and then he gave me this one, which I'm shocked that he gave me this, but he did. He did. So that is the Marine Corps flag. So I will be hanging that up out back. And since I started this whole flag thing, I, I wanted uh, to be able to fill in 
um, out back. So I ordered some. I'm wondering which one. I don't. I don't know which is which. They come like this. I ordered them off Amazon, and they come folded in a bag and just in like an envelope, just a a plain envelope. So let's see what this one is. Ah, I can tell which one this one is. Oh, Canada. Oh, Canada. So there's the Canadian flag. And I'm going to have to open, going to have to open these anyway. So I may as well open them, open them with you all. And, ah, George. Well, let me just say, George out our George out front has seen, seen some better times. He is tattered and he has a hole, a little tear. It's not a hole, it's a tear down here. And so um, I might put this out front or um, I, might, I might take George off that's out front and put him on the fence. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the George out front yet because he has a hole in him. Um, because I want to show you another one that I'm considering, that I considered putting out front. I don't know. We'll see. This, how many of you are going to know what this one is? Is Germany. That's, that's Germany. And... Then this last one, let's see who knows what this one is. We'll make it a surprise. It's one that I don't know though. Oh, who knows what this one is? Ha <laughs> the United States. So if you said the United States of America, you were right. And then this last one, this is the one that I don't know if I wanna hang this one out front or out back because um, this should be really cool. Oh, and I have one more coming. I actually do have one more flag coming. Um, it probably won't be in this video, I don't know. I, I want to I say that it's coming from England. If it's coming from England, it will not be in this video. If I get it in before I make the video, I'll stick it in here. Um, oh, I won't be able to hang this. Okay, this is the smaller one I ordered. Okay, I needed, this will go out back on the fence. So one of the Georges I have will go up front and then the other, the probably the older George I'll put on the fence so that he won't experience any more damage to him. I'll probably put the new George out front uh, just because that one uh, means more and so I want it to uh, be kept nice on the fence. Uh, believe it or not, that's a better place to keep it because it won't get the, the beating that it will get out front. This I ordered, this is the uh, Royal Standard of the Queen and um, I needed a smaller, these are, um, these flags, I think, are like five, three by five. So they're five feet wide. I needed one that was smaller. And so I'm thinking this was like a three by five. Um, and that's why I ordered it. Uh, there's just, there's a smaller place where from post to post where one of those, it, it wouldn't have looked right. So I did order the smaller one. And I think I love that. That'll look really nice. So those are the flags I ordered. I want to say thank you to, uh, to Josh. Josh, I got your card. I appreciate it very, very much. I also want to say thank you to Liz. We did not do a package opening of this because we did not know what it was. It, we just had no idea and it came to our house. Usually, um, when things come to our house, it means it's somebody knows us and usually we'll see their return address. Well, Liz knows our address, but she she sent it from a company, so it didn't have her address at the top, so I didn't know this was from her. Uh, but I think this is awesome. It is glass. 
And let me put something behind it so you all will be able to see. Oh, there we go. You can see it just like that, right? Look, my shirt. You can see by my shirt. It says, Welcome to the Dunn Family Home. And it's literally like etched in glass. This is very, very, very heavy, nice. Uh, this is something that I will set out on the bookshelf. Uh, this is, it's beautiful. Uh, very nice. Thank you so much to Liz. Um, Liz lives in Ohio. I would have never um, dreamed you would send something like that to us. So I really, really appreciate that. And the last thing I want to tell you, I'm trying to show you all the mail. The last thing we got in the mail today, I have to show you how this came. Kevin's power supply went dead on his computer. And so he ordered a new power supply from Amazon. I don't know which company it came from from Amazon. Uh, but the reason I want to show it to you is because fortunately I was home when the doorbell rang. I think FedEx was the one that dropped it off. Do you remember what company you ordered it from? Just Amazon. Just Amazon. Fortunately, I was home when it was delivered because it came in this box. Literally, we have not unwrapped it. Our address is on the front, so I'll just cover that. But, I mean, you can see exactly what it is. You can see the pictures on it. All they did was take like a piece of plastic, which, well, that's how it came. which by the way, it's being ripped, huh? No, that's that's how they come from. The oh, you mean they didn't even put the plastic, didn't even put the plastic on? Plastic on. It. Okay, so they literally just slapped the light bulb. But I think that's stupid. Whoever, whatever company that was, I think that's completely stupid because then everybody in the neighborhood or anyone walking by knows, hey, the Duns have a power supply sitting on their porch. Go grab it because this was what, 80, was it $80? $80. So Kevin's like dying to have this so that he can put it in the computer. Um, you can do it on the table. Um, but I think that's totally stupid. I think back when I got like, um, there was something else that other things that I've got in the mail. Like, I want to say Gavin's toy box or something like that, something big like that that I've ordered. And it came, it seems like something for Ashley too. And they just put it on the porch and there was nothing covering it. So like if it was a present, what if I had bought that for Kevin and wanted to surprise him with that? Then it would have ruined the surprise. You know, I just, I think um, even if I don't say it's a gift, I still think they should put some uh, paper on it. So anyway, the computer was a few days ago. Something was smelling. It smelled like it smelled like burnt um, plastic, didn't it? Yeah. It smelled like Kevin said a computer. It's, it's burned up electronics. A burned up electronics. Apparently, burned up electronics smell this certain way. But I was sitting back in the, uh, we didn't know what it was, and I was sitting back on the computer, and I felt like, I told him I felt like I was being poisoned in there. Water, because, water yeah, the fumes were so strong I could hardly breathe, and so it, it was just horrible. So I, and, you know, I said, what do we need to do? How do you test for this? And he said, you just have to wait until something burns out. And I said, no, we, we need to be able to, to turn it off and, and get our heads in there and sniff and see which part this is because it's just horrible. And I, there's no way that I could have put up with those fumes for that many days to see, to find out what, what it was. Um, so we, he brought it in here and he took everything out. And first of all, let me just say, um, he had to get the vacuum cleaner because the dog hair it, okay. and cat hair, if I hadn't have been like so embarrassed to death, I could have filmed it. It was like uh, we found a rabbit in there or something. <laughs> That's how bad it, it was bad. Um, and I vacuumed the floor around it. Any little um, uh, mesh parts that are showing that I can vacuum, when I vacuum the floor in there, I vacuum them. Uh, there's also a removable part on the front of this computer where you can pull it off really easy and vacuum the mesh part. We had just done that like in July and very, very quickly it had gotten hair on the inside again. Um, so it was just horrible. But, um, oh, so here's the power supply. 
we can take a look at it. So that's your, that's your old that's one? Old. That's your old one. Yeah. Okay, and then this is the new yeah. one. And you ordered the exact same one, except this one doesn't have the green on it. Yeah, the label, they changed the labels. They probably just came up with a different. But it's the same one. Yeah, it's exactly the same one. So he'll put this in there. Fortunately, he, um, you know, this is what he does uh, for a living. He not he only, did. or he did, um, he not only teaches, a lot of people that teach, they say don't necessarily know how to do certain things, but that's not true with Kevin because he can actually build it from nothing to, uh, to something. Oh, you do? Yeah, he does have a video on his channel. This is the other side of his computer. I think this is neat, this case. He has a video on his channel. It's called Movie HQ, and um, uh, showing him putting this together. But um, so anyway, this is what he used to do. This was his first job when we when we first got married. Well, he worked at a factory when we first got married, Lexmark. Lexmark, yeah. And then he actually worked for a company that went and repaired the computers and he would have to go in like all these state buildings and he would have to take them new computers and repair their computers so so he really knows you know if something's going wrong with the computers he knows uh, what to do so anyway I'll be glad to get this power supply in there too because I have missed having the computer because <laughs> I'll work I'll work on my computer during the day but then I'll like watch TV and stuff on his computer at the same time Kevin finished his cross stitch Beauty and the Beast, and he has been working on this for what a month? The whole summer, pretty much. Oh, the whole summer? Yeah, because I would do it while I was out there while you were exercising. I didn't realize that it. I knew it had been a month, but I didn't know it had been the uh, whole summer. I got this like end of June. Oh, okay. From uh, you bought it at Hobby Lobby, mm -hmm. and uh, every time we go out to watch TV, this is what Kevin works on, and he we. Pick the Beauty and the Beast because it is Ashley's. Um, she loves Beauty and the Beast. She just, it's not her, well, she loves Marie from the Aristocats. That's her favorite character, but she does love Beauty and the Beast. So um, that's why Kevin made it for her. So what did you think? Was it challenging? Was It had some challenges to it, definitely. Counting all those colors that look exactly the same where you're trying to figure out where to count and you and you run into the same colors almost and it's it, it's challenging so we plan on we're gonna buy a frame a really nice frame for this because we know she'll keep it forever um so uh, we'll have to show you the frame when we get it but i wanted to show you that he was finished with it i'm i'm impressed i think it turned out really really nice well i figured i would uh, continue telling you about the saga of Ashley's car. They are actually, I'm trying to find them. They're actually finished with her car. So we're going to, we're picking it up right now and we're going to take it back to her. And then we have to go to Lexington to take back the loaner. So we will be in the car for hours getting it back, but at least she got her car back today. And what was it, a valve? It was, uh, it was, uh, we'll tell you what it was. It was covered though, so she didn't have to pay anything. Uh, replace intake act intake actuator solenoid valve. That's what it was. Intake actuator solenoid valve. That sounds like the uh, nutritional facts on some of the things we eat. <laughs> yeah. What's that we're eating? This George is gonna go out front, and the old George we need to get it because I want to put the old George on the fence. Uh, but we had to go to Lowe's. Our um, staple gun it was like 20 years old, so we went out to Lowe's and we bought this one. And we bought uh, two different sizes of staples. Our total was uh, 20, about $24, which isn't bad. $20 for this and then a few dollars each for this. Uh, but this is what we hang, um, hang the flags up on the, um, on the deck, on the wood fence. This is what we use, a staple gun. If I had posters or anything like that, I'd probably use a, a stick, a pins, yeah, just straight pins. Staples. Right. But since it's going through a fence, you know, you need something heavy duty. So we bought the Arrow brand. I don't know what brand our other one was. It was a nice staple gun though. It was like Black & Decker. Or Black & Decker. Across the street or getting the stuff up in the attic, the insulation blown in. Well, they skipped a day, like, like they were here on Wednesday, something like that. And then they weren't here on Thursday and now they're back 
today and they've been there all day long. So I think, I think what I'm assuming what they have to do is they blow it up there and then they give it a day to dry and then they come back and Kevin's thinking that they probably scrape it down and get it even so that if you want to put drywall or something over top of it, you can. They're also filling in areas that haven't done because they had a hose going up there. Right, they had a hose going up there. So Kevin's taking down our old George and we're going to put him on the fence. And I brought the George II, George the second. I brought him out here and we're going to hang him up. But look at the difference. Can you see the difference in the color? <laughs> yeah. Big, big difference in color. And here he goes. Yay for George. I think it's a little bit smaller. You think it's a little smaller? I have room like if there was like a two by um, if it if I had like a two by what three I could put something there um, but I'm not worried about it um, I technically could put something on the back of the door if I wanted but I probably have room it seems like this is a huge area I might have room for two flags here and I have room for one here I could also always do it on the bottom, but I don't think you would be able to see it, so I don't want to do that. But we put George here, and then, okay, so here, and then I have room also on the back here. So I think these look so good. Really good. But now the one that I bought that's really, really colorful, um, it's not here yet, uh, because I, like I said, I think it's coming for all the way from England, but I'm going to put it right here. I'm gonna put it right above this ladder. I'm not gonna have it way up there so you can see it out at the street, but it will be right above this ladder so that uh, it adds some, adds some color. But I think that looks really good. And you know what? These might not last out here a couple years. I don't know, but they'll be pretty while they're out here. And I still need one for over there. Something like the size of Cornwall, the same size as that Cornwall one over there in that corner i need something for right there and i can always put them up here where i had them too um i just don't want to put them way up there i want to put them down here where i originally had them before so we've come to the end of another big brother week and we'll just the uh, end of one big brother completely. one big brother <laughs> completely yes and we will just say congratulations to sarah Sarah. I had to think of her name for a second. Sarah. Sarah, <laughs> Sarah Harding. Sarah Harding won a Celebrity Big Brother, and it's absolutely shocking just because every week they were saying, get Sarah out, mm -hmm. get Sarah out. And all kinds of stuff. She, people seem to really, really want her out of that house, so. She must have a huge fan base because she did music, so yeah. she was part of a a girl band, kind of like Spice Girls or whatever. Not quite as big as the Spice Girls, but so she was pretty well known. Oh yeah. Probably more so than the other people in that house. Probably. Now, she's a very pretty girl, but I will say this. I had never said this the whole time. <laughs> I think she looks older than what she is. I Every time I look at her, I was thinking she was not far from my age. Uh, I'm 45. I was thinking she was probably 42. And really, she's in her 30s. So I would say when you yeah, but I think she's late 30. The reason I'm bringing that up is because I think when you think about her age and her fan base and the people that watch the show, I think that's probably right. That's yeah. probably why she did get a lot of votes. Yeah. Uh, now, Trisha Paytas did put out a video um, about her winning. It's like, uh, it's not long. It's like maybe 12 to 18 minutes, something like that. And she talked about how uh, she believes that it is completely set up that it's completely fake she believes that um that it's um 
when Katie Price, she said she had heard way back when Katie Price was in the house that they wrote it into Katie Price's contract that Katie Price wouldn't come in unless it was written into her contract that she survived up until one of the last people. So she believes that they did the same thing with Sarah because she said when we first came into the house, she said there was a towel laying on that bed, her bed, and we were told that we weren't allowed to choose, you know, that you could, like, I guess they told her, you can go to any bed but not the one with the towel on it. She said they told us that. Well, it ended up she got that bed. That was her bed. So, things like that, she thinks were written into her contract to where... And she said she got a lot of special favoritism in the house that other people didn't get. Like, they wouldn't mention medications and stuff. Nobody was allowed to talk about it or anything. And they would say how fragile she was because um, that was written into her contract that they couldn't mention it. So, I don't know if any of that's true or not. I have no idea. I'm just saying that's what she believes. That's what she said in her video. So, And we've also of, often thought... It's a college show because so technically they can say whatever they wanted to. Right. You know, ultimately yeah. they could. Of course, it would kind of defeat the. They kind of remove their um, believability if they did right. something like that and somebody found out about it. But right. Why would Big Brother? Why would they care? Why yeah. would they care who won ultimately? Yeah, it's a, um, all drama. So I do not believe. Even though I do believe that people have contracts and people get certain things in their contracts, oh, yeah. I, I don't believe that they knew that Sarah Harding was going to win from no, the game. I, I just so. don't. I don't think no. they did that. I do no. I do probably believe that they do put con stuff in the contract not to make themselves look bad. I mean, think about it. If, you're, if you've are if um, you done something really bad and, or you're doing something that would be construed as... You mean the contestant, yeah, the person. It yeah, it would be construed as kind of weird or odd during the house and it may skew your votes one way or the other. I can imagine right. being in a contract. Yeah, if somebody like knew this about me then they might not uh, vote for right. me. So, right. yeah, I understand I that. that. But, but that's great that she won. I wanted Sam to win. We both wanted Sam to win. Uh, we really, really like Sam. It was shocking that he came in third. I know. Although I like Amelia, too. She was a very sweet girl. She was very sweet. Just like Sam a little bit better than her. But we did like Amelia, too. Okay, that's all about Celebrity Big Brother UK. Now, uh, and that show's over with, so you won't be hearing us talk about that anymore. Now we're on to uh, Big Brother uh, in the America. Uh, this week, Mark was voted out. Which and was Expect them. Yeah, you know. I mean, they always try to make you think during the live uh, show, live show, that, um, oh, we might choose someone else to go. And I told Kevin, you know they're going to pick Mark. They, you know, they may as well quit fooling around like this. And they did. Uh, but what we wanted to talk about real quick was that they were, when they ended, they were doing the head of household competition, which if you watch the live feeds, you'll have, you'll already know who won. But we think it's very, very unfair how they're doing this competition. And this is the same with m many of the same types that they, they do. They did the same thing with the wall where they were leaning forward. It's like that. It's Anytime endurance. they get stuff blown at them or squirted at them. It's or not like that, fair. Um, because you looked at it when they were doing this hot dog one. Um, some people were getting like they did mustard, let's say. Well, they did water first. They did water first. Um, some people were getting actually drenched. Other people were just barely getting a sprinkle on them. And it's like... How is that equal, you know? And some people were getting it full on in the face. Yeah. And some people were getting it on their body. Well, that still is not... If you're in an endurance competition, Makes there's going to be... Yeah, a difference. <laughs> somebody hit me in the chest and somebody hit me in the face. Yeah. Um, and then the, the mustard, they sprayed, squirted mustard on them later, mustard. It may be mustard. And um, some people were getting them like all over, top to bottom, head to toe. And other people were getting them like just on their legs and or just, above their heads. It's it like, didn't seem fair at yeah. all. But they, like I said, almost all these competitions where they squirt stuff or spray stuff at them is almost every one of them were like mm -hmm. that. So. so we have no idea who won the head of household competition because we don't watch the live feeds. And even if we did, we wouldn't say it right now because I it's wouldn't. Not on. I, yeah, it hasn't been aired yet, so I wouldn't give yeah. it away for anybody else. But I do. Uh, I, it's going to be interesting from here on out just for a, from a, a strategic standpoint because they're all so far they've all been kind of a group voting together to get certain people out those like four evil people um, now the, the ones they were against now they're all going to have to turn on each other yeah. um, so it'll be interesting which way they go and Paul's kind of floating around to everybody I'm kind of curious 
he's kind of, it seems from the way they're editing, that he's siding with Christmas and Josh and kind of really getting in with them. But then he supposedly has a side thing going with Alex. Well, I don't think Alex is paying much attention to that because she votes, he voted, she voted against him in the, in the eviction thing. So who knows? I don't know. I don't know. Who's, who knows what's going to happen? No. You see what they want you to see so they can edit it any way they want to. To make you see or not see whatever they want to. So, but as far as all the people that are left, who do I like the most? Um, I like uh, I like Christmas, and I don't have any problem with Alex. I like really, Alex too. yeah, I don't have any problem with either one of those. And Paul's a little bit of a bully, control freak. I, I mean, didn't I like, like Paul, but. But. I didn't like how he uh, showed himself in the Cody Jessica uh, episodes. Oh, I, and encouraging Josh to go out there and then him dancing around and. Yeah. Um, and and I still feel like um, uh, Josh could go home at uh, at any point. Yeah. At any point. Kevin's not bad. He's just not. He doesn't do much. I mean, he just goes with whatever everybody else says. Yeah, I just, I just don't care for Josh. He just, I don't know. He just seems to have a big mouth, and I just don't like him. So anyway, that's the end of our week. Uh, we're trying to wrap it up a little quicker because the video is so long this week. Uh, I hope you all are having a good time. Um, fall is in the air and so everybody's getting their fall stuff out and all the fall foods are coming out and i appreciate you all telling me um when you all see something i have received probably 15 notifications about the um the, the m m's scream uh for that are and cookies and scream that are target exclusive but i don't mind i mean i appreciate it i i I think it's awesome that when you all see new things like this, you think of me. I mean, you think of me and Kevin. I think that's, that's cool. cool. Our target's um, really slow about getting stuff out. They still have all um, school supplies. All school supplies. So, and, and somebody said that their target didn't have a lot out either, that they just got lucky they were on an end cap. Yeah, we found a few things, Halloween things, um, on the end, or we, in a display. They were Little Debbie. Yeah. Little Debbie that was fall. It. They were fall cakes, though. Yeah. They, there wasn't anything Halloween about them. That's they were true. just fall. So, who knows when they'll have them out. But just know, I will be looking for them. Even Walmart hasn't got a lot of stuff out, though. They've got that one display. They have one little M &M's display of candy corn. Yeah. It's like we wanted to get rid of this one pilot of food back here in the back. So, we're just going to put Stick it out. Stick it out in the middle. People have been buying it, though. Oh, yeah. People buy it like crazy. I know I bought some of it. So, so anyway, I hope you all have a great week and thanks for watching.